Hello, my people. This is just a very relaxed, low edit, low budget um, look at a feature that's arrived in Microsoft Teams. Uh, we're been able to pop out our chats for a while out of a window, and um, but when we're in a meeting, sometimes we have all kinds of things that we want to open, and we only get this one panel down the side, and we've got to swap between them. Some of us have got workarounds. We open up the chat in a different window, but there's other things that we want to open too. Now we can pop out all kinds of things, and Teams, let's have a look at it. Uh, this is a meeting that Laura has joined. I'm going to join her shortly, but just to show you, I've added the generated notes, AI-generated notes. Um, so there's some bits down here. And that's something that I want to have open and I can use uh, while I'm you know, taking notes in the meeting together. Um, what else? Uh, there'll be chat as well. So if this was a larger meeting, then I might want to uh, keep an eye on the chat as well. There's just one uh, other person, so it's no biggie, but good enough for the demo. Right, let's join the meeting, take a look, um, get into that. We'll bring the meeting over to the window. Just shuffle things around here so that we can uh, simulate what I want to show here. Um, join the meeting. Very good. All right, Laura's in there. We have the meeting window open. Laura might present some content. She might have a video up, whatever that is. Um, but I want to be able to see the presented content. You know, I might actually just do that. Let's just, let's just figure that out for now. Share a tab, share that one. Okay, so now we've got a meeting with some content that's been shared. Laura's presenting and showing us and taking us through the new Microsoft 365 chat, Copilot chat for Outlook, Ugh, whatever. Um, as I said, it was relaxed and it's Friday and I'm like, meh, whatever. So uh, what am I trying to show you? Get on with it, Daryl. We've got meeting, content being presented, person, um, I have the meeting notes that have opened along the side there and I might be taking notes uh, here. So Laura's going to show us a uh, co-pilot chat in M365 apps. M365 apps, cool. Taking notes, Laura's in there as well. But I also want to see the chat at the same time. So I've had to kind of pop this out and take a look and go, okay, um, so I could check out the chat there. Maybe Laura's going to add some chat to the meeting. Hello. Right. And so I've got chat. I've got notes. What else might I want to have? Um, well, let's just pop out some of the things that we can pop out now. We can pop out the content. So this button here, open and pop out content into a new window. Drag the content over. That's cool. Um, now we might, because we want to actually keep an eye on the content, let's fill that up that there and see what she's presenting. And now I can see the people in the meeting and also the content. I can also see the chat. Great, but I've still got notes that I want to keep. Um, let's open the notes panel. I've got to swap now between the notes and the chat. So that's that's not cool. That's not what I'm after. What can we do now? Well, we can pop out the chat. So this is the button I'm highlighting today. Open a new window. Great, now we've got the chat open here. So we can have the chat as a separate window. Let's just minimize that one for now. Um, and again, maybe let's have the notes open beside it. But that doesn't really give us a lot of room to be able to take notes. I know that there's another feature coming soon where we can drag the panel off to the side and change the size of it. So looking forward to seeing that. But did you know that for now, um, we can use the three dots here, open in a new window. And again, here is the size of the window, I can change that size up as I am taking notes. Now I am a lucky person here, I've got quite a large monitor that I'm using to show you how this works, but just imagine that you're on maybe a super wide monitor, or maybe you've got two monitors, and you want to panelize your meeting experience. This is what I've done. I've got 
the window for the meeting content. I can keep an eye on that. I can see it in a reasonable size. Um, I can see a panel or gallery of people if there are a number of people there. I've got the chat that I can use as well. So maybe we could just drop this up here. Stretch that down a bit here, and I've got a few more things that I can keep an eye on. I can keep an eye on the chat, and then I can also take the notes. So that's uh, that's really what's arrived. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but I think this gives us more options about arranging our space so that we can run more effective meetings and not have to be switching back and forth between the things that we want to see and present and chat and take notes in. Uh, it means that, yeah, I've, I've got a, a better experience. Now, what's really important to me is if there was a gallery of people, um, I usually have the gallery along the top so that I can see people in their faces and look like I'm looking towards you as I am uh, presenting that content and, uh, you know, taking you through the meeting. Um, but uh, I also like to have this extra space for perhaps taking notes or engaging in the chat. So this is a really good view, uh, a good way of being able to um, split out the various things within my meeting and and use them. So what do you think? I know that was really rough. Uh, I'm not going to do any fancy edits on this. I'm just going to maybe slide things around a bit and press publish. Um, it's Friday. It's summer here. I'm being lazy. But what do you think? Let me know. Um, will you use all of these panels in this way or are you just going to you know keep switching around like you do as i said looking forward to seeing that uh, opportunity or uh, the feature later to be able to drag the um the panels back in and around i did want to show you here too that uh with the chat um if i was to open up chat here and i think the panel so i've <laughs> effectively got the chat open in two places i've got the chat down the side i've got the chat as a window when i click pop out then it again just uses the window that i've got there so often i think of things that i've just finishing off the video and i want to show you and yeah there we go all right well um there you go uh it is uh, nine minutes worth of content um ish happy this week. Happy today. Have a good weekend. See you around. Bye.